Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. It has been a minute since I did one of these videos, but we are going to do some more exotic shotgun shells. I believe this is, oh, volume three or four. We'll check on that whenever we get home. But uh, I'm pretty excited. I think I got some cool stuff for you guys today. So we'll check it out. So for this round of shooting, we're going to be using our Stevens 12 gauge pump action shotgun. And here are the shells that we are going to be using. So I'll give you guys a run through and we'll get, we'll get going. We have one called the double slug. That's pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, there are just two giant lead slugs. It's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, they say this one is good for up to 25 yards. This one's called the Terminator. Upon impact, the hollow core slug mushrooms and expands to nearly two inches while dumping its cargo of tiny pellets, which open a wound equal to a softball. Love it. Love it, love it. We have some armor piercing. We're going to go ahead and send these guys into... Uh, that hot water tank. I think these are pretty self-explanatory as well. And then the pit bull. The old pit bull is pure power. The pit bull is a powerful 12 gauge round packed with six double up buck pellets topped with a heavy duty one and three ounce, 1.3 ounce slug loaded extra hot. Oh boy, you know what that means. A lot of kick to these guys. So I got all these shells plus a lot more in a kit off of firequest.com. Uh, they usually have some pretty good deals. I'm not being paid to say that. I just know how people like me are where if there's a good deal and it seems like it's fun, why not? So let's go ahead and get something loaded and shoot it. Okay, so for right now, the way we like the the way I like to start off these videos is I'm going to use a few shells of just standard double up buck. Uh, you can get these at any of your local gun stores, uh, unless there's a pandemic or something crazy going on. It, at pretty much any gun store, will have double up buck. Double up buck. So that was four shells of our double up buck as our control group. We got some decent entry there some decent penetration but nothing came out of the back so we're going to go ahead and load up one of those exotic rounds and see what it'll do so i think for this one we're going to use the terminator two shells of terminator So there's the Terminator. Here's the two slugs, and then you can see all of those little BBs. Did a number on the paint, but none of those actually penetrated. They just kind of dented it. However, one of those slugs came out of the back. That's awesome. Next up is the pit bull. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
So there's the pit bull. And again, you can see where the two slugs entered. Uh, we got some, looks like bigger welts from the, from the buckshot. However, I don't think it really spread all that much. But coming back here again, we had at least one of those slugs exit. And it also blew the plastic out of where all the electrical components are. Next up, the armor piercing incendiary round. I saw two, I don't know if it was the slugs themselves, but whatever they were, bounced over there. That one was surprising. Here's the entry. There's one here, and then this was, I was a little close to that last one. Uh, I think that was the pit bull. Uh, the two armor piercing incendiary entrances right here and here. However, I don't think either of them came out of the back side there. This was from one of those slugs from the pit bull but yeah, that's, that's surprising. Good entry, but no exit. Lastly, we have the double slug. I'm guessing this one's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, out of my shoulder. So again, I'm a little surprised on this one. The two entrance holes are, you know, pretty typical as far as the slug goes. Single hole, no divots around it, pretty clean actually. But again, I thought this one was gonna go out of the back side, but there's nothing. So I'm a little surprised here because the two shells that I thought were going to be, you know, the weakest as far as exiting. Those were the two that ended up going the whole way through. And the two I thought that were going to just go straight through, they ended up only going in and not coming out. So all in all, they all were fun. I definitely recommend it if you're into shotguns and like doing different things like shooting exotic shells. Definitely check those out because all of those were a lot of fun. So if you like what you saw, please click the like and subscribe. Don't forget to like us on Instagram. I appreciate everybody's support. And I have probably five more of these shells that I'm going to be working through here once I find some cool stuff to shoot. So again, thank you guys, and we'll see you next time.